Dilla, you almost frightened me to death. Thank you, Igor. We now bring you a special report from the Transylvania News Department. Quiet! Count Dracula has ordered the world's leading monsters to come to his castle immediately. This conference on the night before Halloween only confirms the rumor from an unimpeachable source that Halloween is in danger of disappearing forever. Oh, no more Halloween. Oh, say it isn't so, Master. Of course it isn't so. Who could have started such a rotten rumor? Who knows what impact this will have on tiny tots all over the globe. That I have an exclusive interview with a man, well, a man that I can say is almost honest. Yes, if this rumor is correct, this means the end of Halloween, a beloved 2,000-year-old tradition. 2,000 years? Sure. Back in those days, people used to light bonfires to scare away the evil spirits. Nowadays, jack-o'-lanterns are supposed to do the same thing. Do you know why people got dressed up for Halloween? Because it was fun. No, for protection. They thought if they dressed up to look like an evil spirit, the other spirits wouldn't bother them. That's how the custom started. But we're still going to have a Halloween, though, aren't we? Let's find out. Who conceived this diabolical scheme? Some experts believe that Count Dracula himself is behind this threat to end Halloween. How dare they suggest such a thing? Halloween is my national holiday! And so, it is a sad possibility that Halloween, which got its name from All Hallows' Day, may be receding from us forever. All Hallows' Day? The first day in November used to be called All Hallows' Day. And the night before was called All Hallows' Evening. And then they shortened it to Halloween. And so tonight, the ancient streets of Transylvania are wild with rumors about this gathering of monsters in Count Dracula's castle. Igor? Yes, monster? My fellow monsters shall be arriving now. Make them uncomfortable until I make my dig entrance. <laughs> Frankenstein creature. Learned any new down steps lately? Watch this one. Very graceful. From tropical Haiti, the king of the living dead, save all the zombies. At a ball. From Egypt. The mummy. The flying queen of Halloween. Minnie, the queen. Out of my way, Shorty. I don't have to take this kind of treatment from anybody. Somebody's gonna hear from me. <laughs> Let me tell you. What's the idea of waking me up in the middle of the night? Count Dracula will explain everything in just a moment. Wait! I believe I hear him coming now. Yes, I can see him clearly through the fog. Oh, boy! Oh, master. Oh, master. I forgot. 
to open the window. Forgive me. It will never happen again. And I know how to make sure it never happens again. <laughs> and as for all of you, I have called you here tonight to warn you. You have exploited your monsterhood so much that you are no longer scary. People are laughing at you instead of shrieking. And now, someone has started the rumor that there is to be no more Halloween. And all of you are guilty. Especially you. Shaving your beard and your hands just to make a razor blade commercial. How could you do such a thing? And you. Letting that movie influence you so much that now, instead of terrifying the countryside, what are you doing? You're tap dancing. I like tap dancing. Oh, you like tap dancing. I'll give you tap dancing. Tomorrow night is Halloween. And I command you all to be your old horrible selves. Especially you. Halloween cannot officially open without your ride over the moon. Now I'm warning you all. If anyone lets me down on this Halloween, you shall be replaced. Are there any questions? No. You have a question? I sure do. How soon can I be replaced? I quit. What? You quit? But you can't quit. Do you know what it means if you quit? I know, boss. I know you know. I want to know what she knows. It means no more Halloween. The end to a beloved 2,000-year-old tradition. But my mind is made up. I quit. Ah, so it was you who started the rumor that there would be no more Halloween, huh? You got it. But why would you do such a thing? Why? Because I can't stand being a witch anymore. I'm tired of all those ugly girl jokes. Tired of being feared instead of loved. Tired of getting less respect than you. And tired of taking orders from you. Why should you be the leader of the monster world and not me? Because! Because I am your superior. For the entire world, I am the king of the monsters. Can you ride over the moon on your broom on Halloween night? No. Then you're not more important than me. Well, what more do you want? It's all here on this little list. You call this a little list? Now you listen to me. No, you listen to me. If you want me to ride over the moon tomorrow night, you will agree to every condition on this list. I'm listening. One. My picture replaces yours on the official posters and souvenir t-shirts of Transylvania. The t-shirts? Ah, that goes by the book. Two. You will publicly apologize for scaring your fellow monsters and promise to be sweet to us from now on. What? You want me, Count Dracula, to apologize for being terrifying and to be sweet? That would ruin my image. How could I do that? Three, I want equal authority with you as co-leader of the monster world. Agree to share my powers? Never! Never! Okay, then we have nothing more to talk about. To <laughs> Frankenstein, guard the door. The rest of you follow me. We must catch her before she leaves the castle. Listen to me for a few minutes. 
You haven't got a few minutes. What do you mean? Any moment the sun's gonna rise, and if you're not back in your mausoleum, you're gonna be a dead duck. You're right. You won't get away. I'll catch up with you tonight. You're all alone. I hope we left the tomb door open. Igor always leaves the tomb door open. Oh, oh. Again. How many times do I have to tell you? Keep my tomb door open at night, closed in the day. Open at night and closed in the day. And so it's a sad day here in Transylvania tonight. For unless the witch can be found in time and persuaded to take her broom ride over the moon at midnight, it means the end of Halloween. What's going to happen, Mom? Are we going to have a Halloween or not? It's all up to the witch now. And so I can say that the mood here in Transylvania is one filled with deep gloom and anxiety. For without Halloween, the future of the world's most famous monsters looks very bleak indeed. What's going to happen to us? What are we going to do? What are we going to... I'll tell you what we are going to do. We are going to the witch's castle. I have a plan. But we have to take her by surprise. So follow me and be quiet. I know you're here. I just hope the witch doesn't know you're here. We're in luck. She's alone. Oh! Good. Now, here's my plan. You three seize the witch and hold her while I quickly hypnotize her. Then she will do anything that I command. And can't miss. She cannot escape. Unless she has some magic I don't know about. Oh, except for her broom. She has no magic. Good. All right, men. You all know what you have to do. At the count of three, we go in. And the one, and the two, and the three. Monstrous. Naturally. Now I want you to close your eyes and relax. Close them a little bit more. That's better. Soon you will grow sleepy and obey my every command. Over my dead body. Don't be at ease. Come on, admit it. You underestimated my powers. And you underestimated my ancestors! <laughs> the witch has no magic, eh? Ah, wait for me. On guard. Ha! Ah. What do I do now? Master, believe me, they're just illusions. They can't harm me. Touché. Can't do me any harm, huh? Who did that termite? Ah! Oh, master, master, oh, oh. do something, do something. What can I do? If I can't bite them, I can't bite them.
trapped in a room without a broom, somewhere at the top of the stairs. Are they gone yet? Yes, it's safe for you to come out now and protect my life. Follow me. My feet hurt. Don't give me that. I happen to know they're not your feet. What did you have to bring that up for? Oh, never mind. It's almost 12 o'clock. We haven't got any more time. I can't hypnotize her through the door. I have to get inside, into the room. But how? How? I have an idea, Master. We all know you can turn yourself into a big bat. If you could turn yourself into a teeny tiny bat, you could squeeze through the space under the door. And before the witch even knew you were in the room, you changed back into yourself and could hypnotize her. It's easy, and nobody gets that. Igor, for once in your life, you have a good idea. <laughs> Here goes. Tiny tiny bat, 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 tiny tiny bat. Gets hurt, huh? I will get even with you for this, Igor, if it takes me a thousand years. And I know how to make you live that long. There must be another way to get into that room. There must be. I think there's another way to get into this room. I can see a window directly opposite this door. That window can be reached by walking along this ledge. All we need is a brave man. Igor! Watch out for falling gargoyles. <laughs> conditions. But I will never forgive her for this. And after tonight, all I will live for is revenge. Hello? What is it? I have decided to be generous. All I want to know is, are you meeting my conditions? Yes. My picture is on the posters instead of yours? And you'll share the leadership of the monster world with me? And you'll take me disco dancing every night? Disco dancing? I don't remember disco dancing. It's three minutes to twelve. Oh, now I remember. Let's see. What else? Please. It's getting late. Open the door. Don't rush me. I still haven't made up my mind. A girl can change her mind, you know. Oh, no, 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 you wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah? I just changed my mind. I don't want to be a witch anymore. Nobody loves a witch. But it's almost midnight. You can't quit now. I have the night. Oh, shut up, Igor. Let me think. Stop moving around. I hear footsteps. I'm never going to ride over the moon again, and that's my final word. Never. Never. Please, 
Miss Witch. Don't say that. Please. Dracula, don't you disguise your voice. You can't fool me. Please change your mind. If you don't, there'll be no more Halloween. No more jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkin pies. Worst of all, no more trick-or-treats. No more fun dressing up in costumes to make believe you are someone else. Oh, for heaven's sakes. You look just like me. This is my favorite costume because of you. It is? Why? Because you are one of my favorite people. Love you just the way you are. All of the kids feel that way. You really love me? All right. I'll do it. <laughs> Knowing you love me means more to me than any of his promises. Oh, then we can forget those silly conditions that you asked for. Not on your life. You're going to have to keep each one of those promises just the same. Starting with a disco party right after I ride over the moon. So long, kids. This ride is just for you. <laughs>